What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George, I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands and I also show people uh, how to start their own social media marketing agency, automate it, scale it and live life on their own terms. And you know, I understand social media marketing is very, very popular nowadays when I just started, you know, not everyone was doing it. Um, I think it was only a select few in like the US that were really into it. But other than that, like in Europe, it was still relatively unheard of. Nowadays, you know, almost everyone is doing social media marketing in some form or another. But a lot of social media agencies also fail. And for me, it comes down to one of or all four things. And with that said, I want to admit that I have done all four of these mistakes. You know, I've made these mistakes and I've learned from them. I've moved on. But uh, these are four mistakes that I see a lot of uh, beginners making that I have also made in the past. And I just thought I'd quickly mention, you know, what those four things are, how I learned from it and, you know, how I can basically or how you're best moving on from it. So the first mistake I see a lot of beginners making is that they are not focused on growth. I've mentioned this a few times on the channel before, but I see a lot of people focusing on creating a logo, getting a cover photo made for fo uh, for Facebook, um, creating an Instagram for their agency, creating a website for their agency, creating posts for their own agency's uh, LinkedIn page, uh, commenting in uh, groups you know, rather than actually focusing on what is important which is getting clients first it's getting meetings and the second one is actually closing the clients on the meeting okay so when you are just starting out forget everything else don't focus on the website don't focus on your logo don't focus on your company's instagram page anything like that focus on getting the first client once you have that first client and you've got you know you've got cash flow you've got money coming in and you've got a few spare hours, then yes, you know, feel free to create a website, feel free to brand, uh, create like the you know the logo and the brand and etc. But make sure that you focus on growth first. The only way you can grow as an agency is if there's money coming in. How do you get money coming in? You need to land clients. How do you land clients? You need to get meetings first. Okay, so focus on getting the meetings and land the clients first before you focus on all the other um, irrelevant stuff. And the second mistake I see a lot of beginners making is that they don't follow a process or the you know they don't create a process or a system out out of what they are doing. So quick example, what I used to do is I used to send out proposals on uh, Upwork.com. I used to message clients or potential clients on Facebook, and I used to do that for like roughly 20 minutes to 45 minutes a day. And I used to do that like every other day or whenever I had um, you know like a, a morning to myself because at the time or when I was just starting out, I still worked in the gym. So you know I basically. Outside of the shifts in the gym, I used to work on the agency and then, you know, I used to like send proposals on Upwork, leverage the freelance platforms to get clients. But I had no idea what my numbers were and I did not create uh, processes out of what I was doing. So what you are best doing is if you want to know how many people you need to reach out to or how many people you need, you know, you need to get a client, what you need to do is write down how many people uh, how, first of all, how many meetings you're getting out of the amount of people you're reaching out to. Let's say out of every 20 people you reach out to, you land one meeting. So then, you know, you know, if you want to land another meeting, you need to reach out to another 20 uh, potential business owners. Okay, once you know that and you know how many meetings it takes to get the first client, you know, you know how many meetings you need to get to get another client. So, for example, um, you reach out to 100 clients you get 10 meetings and out of the 10 meetings you get one um you know one actual client to sign with you you know exactly what your numbers are and you know okay then if i want a, a second client i need to reach out to an additional 100 100 businesses okay so from there you know what your numbers are and you know what to do if you want an additional client or if you want to you know reach a certain milestone for example if you want six figures which is just over eight thousand a month you know okay with those numbers you need to reach out to 800 businesses once you do that you'll land 80 meetings and then roughly you'll land eight clients okay so do you understand where the numbers are coming from here that is what you need to be doing for yourself okay you need to know what your numbers are secondly what i mentioned before with the processes you need to basically document every single uh, step you take 
in order for a certain process to be completed. So like I said, with those, with the, with the reaching out to clients, etc., you need to basically just write down for yourself as if you are teaching someone else to do it. You know, step one, go to www.facebook.com. Step two, send X message. Step three, you know, reply to reply, uh, you know, of the, of the business owner. Step four, you know, exactly. Just do like that every single step. Why? Because then it's very easy to duplicate. And if yes, if you do get, um, you know, a general manager, a virtual assistant or someone else to work on the agency with you, you basically have that process for them, which you can just hand over to them and say, just duplicate this or do exactly what it says here. Okay. The third mistake I see a lot of beginner social media marketers make is that they are not modeling success and yes i understand you know it is a commitment it is an investment you need to you know basically pay someone to teach you how to do it and that could be in the form of coaching it could be in the form of mentoring it can be in the form of courses but you know you can either spend the next two years trying to figure it all out by yourself or you can spend that one thousand euros dollars whatever buy a course or spend that 2000 to get mentorship and then you'll know instantly what to do. Okay, you will not make the same mistakes as that person did and you can basically go right for the goal. Okay, you can basically, someone is telling you exactly how to do it and then from there you'll notice that you'll get your first client much, much quicker. You'll scale to six figures much, much quicker and you won't be, you know, messing about in the process. You know, you won't be spinning your wheels trying to figure it out by yourself because, you know, it's it, you're not reinventing the wheel you know someone else has already invented it all you now need to do is make sure that you know you know how the wheel works okay so if you are serious about social media marketing and i'm not even talking about my own course here you know if you want to if you want to purchase lifestyle design mastery then be my guest you'll notice that it's one of the best investments that you will make but if you don't feel like that i'm if you feel like i'm not your right you know, not the right person for you not the right mentor then purchase someone else's course get someone else's coaching you know it doesn't matter where you get the coaching from as long as you realize that investing in yourself is the best investment you can make and you'll notice that you'll get success much much quicker and the last mistake i see a lot of beginners make and it's not necessarily a mistake it's more of like a a, sh a, a shift in mindset what you need to try and um, accomplish is that they lack in confidence and you know i was the same when i started out i hated the meetings i hated the the calls with the clients you know it was one of the most nerve-wrecking moments of my day and if i had a meeting at three o'clock in the afternoon up until three o'clock you know i could barely eat i was nervous i was sweating i couldn't do anything i felt tired i felt like i needed to go to the toilet constantly because i just really did not like uh the meetings and i wasn't confident in my own abilities to uh, to do sales i thought you know sales is something you're born with and it's not something that you can develop over time which is the biggest limit and belief i have ever had because sales is a skill and yes you can uh, get better at sales and you can you know be taught sales you can learn sales for yourself and you'll notice that you'll be much much better at it and your confidence will go up and you, you actually start to enjoy the meetings because you know what you're worth and you know the value that you can provide for the you know the potential client okay so again this is another reason why um i have added you know the six figure sales modules to lifestyle design mastery because it's such an important aspect of running your own social media marketing agency is the sales part and this is something that a lot of um you know course uh, owners or course designers miss like leave out is the sales part and i think that is so so important so like i said that is why i have i have a complete section of sales in the course to make sure that those who do purchase lifestyle design mastery and invest in themselves know exactly what to say how to say it and how to close the clients so guys that is all i've got for today like this video if you've got something out of it comment down below what you'd like to see for my channel next subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one